careful observation of the APP signals while slowly pressing on the accelerator pedal will reveal a faulty APP sensor. Otherwise, a multi-channel multimeter or scope should be used. It is also worth knowing that most systems will put out throttle position error PID. Watch carefully for the scanner parameter since an error flag will reveal an APP to TPS discrepancy. Despite today's faster and better scan tools, the second step to this procedure should always be followed by a manual electrical APP diagnostic. The first step is to prove the APP voltage reference and ground circuits. These circuits are provided by the ECM independently of each other for redundancy. Proceed to the throttle computer, look up the proper name according to the manufacturer and uncover the wiring at the connector itself. Check the signal voltage output by using a multi-channel multimeter or oscilloscope. Connect each channel to the two or three potentiometer output signals. The need for a multi-channel scope is becoming more apparent as more sensors will be added to future vehicles. With the scope connected, check the output signals with the APB sensor at rest. Compare to proper specifications. Then slowly press on the accelerator pedal and observe for any glitches or sudden drops in signal voltage. This procedure is somewhat similar to checking a TPS sensor. The difference is that it is a dual or a triple TPS depending on manufacturer. Notice the correlation of all the signals to each other. If one of the potentiometer's signal output is off calibration, the ECM will set a faulty code. If the APP sensor passes the test, disconnect the scope or multimeter from the two redundant potentiometers. Then, connect the second and third channels to the dual TPS at the throttle plates. Leave the first channel connected to the primary potentiometer. With the key on and engine off, accelerate the vehicle slowly. Observe the TPS outputs for a smooth increasing signal as during a normal TPS check. This step will indicate any throttle actuator binding or TPS problems. The test will also uncover a possible ECM transistor driver problem or an electrically faulty throttle actuator motor. Take your time during this test as it is very difficult to uncover APB sensor blind spots.